Dear colleagues, I welcome you to the talk on role of physicochemical properties of the ice cream mix to quality of ice cream. Now, what is quality? In case of ice cream, the ice cream should be good in flavor, pleasant flavor should be there, color should be attractive, texture should be smooth, body should be firm and there should not be any sinkage. When we consume the ice cream, it should melt slowly in our mouth. There should not be any delay in melting or very quick also it should not melt. Then we say that ice cream quality is good. Now, in the quality of ice cream, the main role is of the raw material or the ingredients which goes into the mix. First, we form mix of the ice cream. So, th this in this mix, the ingredient which goes, they should be fresh and of good quality. Then also of processing treatment, the which are given during manufacturing of the ice cream, they influence the quality. Now, this quality as a whole means the amalgam of the ingredient and processing treatment produces certain physicochemical properties in the mix. Now, these physicochemical properties of the mix influence the quality in turn influence the quality of the ice cream. Now, what are the physicochemical properties? Physicochemical properties of the ice cream mix are density and specific gravity, acidity and pH, freezing point, viscosity, surface tension, interfacial tension, whipping ability and overrun. These are the physicochemical properties, we will discuss these one by one. Role of density and specific gravity in the quality of ice cream, the specific gravity or and density, they do not play much role. Only thing is that if the specific gravity is lower, cream, the ice cream is lighter and consumer feels that it is good, because when more fat is present in the ice cream, the ice cream is lighter. So, consumer feel that the ice cream is rich in fat that therefore, it is lighter. When higher amount of milk fat make the mix lighter and higher amount of sugar, sucrose which is used in the ice cream and milk solid not fat other than fat, they increase the specific gravity. So, there should be appropriate amount of these two, the milk fat and the sugar and MSNF. Only then the density or specific gravity will be normal. Then uh, next property comes pH and acidity, acidity and pH. Now, these are very important. Higher the acidity in the mix, adverse effect will be there on the flavor, self life, taste, then also the melting characteristics will be different, the smoothness will be affected, the body will be affected. So, all the properties of ice cream will be influenced by the acidity, it should not be higher, it should be normal. Why the acidity of the mix is higher? It is because of the presence of inferiority quality ingredient, particularly when the MSNF is not fresh it is stored one, then there are chances that developed acidity may be there in the mix. Hence, the MSNF which we are using in for making the ice cream should be fresh. Then role of acidity and pH given, uh, there will be curdling of the mix, there will be churning of milk fat, there will be poor whipping ability of the mix coarse texture will be there and sandy texture will be there. Then role of freezing point means when we freeze the ice cream mix, then if the freezing point is higher, then mix will freeze earlier. On the other hand, if the freezing point is lower, then mix will take longer time to get frozen. 
Now, so freezing point is very important. Also, it affect cost, labor cost as well as the cost of the instrument means the power etcetera. When the freezing point is lower, we have to freeze the ice cream for longer period of time. Hence, more labor and more energy cost will be there. Then churning of milk fat will also be affected because when freezing is for longer period of time, more destabilization or churning of milk fat will be there. Then whipping ability of the ice cream will also be affected. When churning of milk fat is there, it will have adverse effect on the whipping ability. So, the incorporation of air will not be very fast. It will not be in the form of very small air cells and total overrun which is achieved will not be very high. Then cost of production as, as a result will increase because of the labor cost, because of the energy cost, because longer duration is there. Then role of viscosity. Viscosity influence the whipping ability of the mix. Higher the viscosity, the whipping ability will be very poor. Lower the viscosity, whipping ability will be poor. But very low viscosity will yield poor whipping because the air which we are incorporating into the mix will go out easily. So, the viscosity should be normal, neither it should be very high nor it should be very low. Then texture will also be affected. How texture is influenced by the viscosity? When the viscosity is higher, the you can say there will be hurdle in the movement of water molecules to the crystal surface, to the lactose molecules, to the lactose crystals. Therefore, ice crystals and lactose crystals will be smaller if the viscosity is higher. What make the viscosity higher? The pasteurization, if pasteurization is given at higher temperature for longer duration, viscosity is higher. Also the homogenization of the mix influences the viscosity. Homogenization increase the viscosity. So, if mix is homogenized at appropriate pressure, then the viscosity will be higher. Also, the cool aging will increase the viscosity because most of the fat will be converted into solid one, liquid fat will be converted into solid one and there will be interaction between the stabilizers which we are adding and the MSNF and as a result the viscosity will increase. So, this is regarding the viscosity. Then role of surface tension. Now, surface tension is nothing, but it is tension which is there on the surface of liquid. You might have seen that if you drop a needle in a beaker in which water is there, the needle will not penetrate the water. Although needle is made up of steel which is heavier than water. Now, why this is there? It is because of the development of a tension or attraction at the surface of water. Why this tension develops? It develops because of the imbalance in the attraction on the molecules. Molecules of water which is at the center, it has got attraction from right, from left, from above, from below and same amount or quantity of attraction is there. Therefore, the attraction is cancelled, it becomes 0. However, at the surface, the attraction is only from below and not from the above. And as a result of this imbalance in the attraction, there a tension develops at the surface which is known as surface tension. Now, this surface tension is Im influenced by the substances which are dissolved in water. If water is there pure, the surface tension is measured in dynes per centimeter. 
the surface tension of pure water is 70 dynes per centimeter. But if you dissolve something into water, the surface tension will either increase or decrease. Now, increase or decrease will depend whether the substance which you are adding goes into the interior of water or it remains at the surface. If it remains at the surface, it will decrease the surface tension. If it is goes into interior, it will increase the surface tension. Now, this surface tension of ice cream mix is important because it influences the whipping ability of the mix or the incorporation of air. Lower the surface tension, easier will be the incorporation of air. Now, surface tension is influenced by active substances which are surface active. If they are added to the mix, say for example, emulsifiers which are polar in nature, they decrease the surface tension and hence increase the whipping ability of the mix. Role of interfacial tension. Now, as there was a tension at the surface, in interfacial tension this is not the case. It is not of dearth of molecules, but it is because of the less attraction when two liquids are there, immiscible liquid are there. Suppose there is a water and oil in the glass or in the beaker, water will be at the bottom and oil will be at the surface. Now, they form a separate layers. Why the separate layers are there? Because the attraction between the water molecules or between the oil molecules is more compared to what it is between water and oil molecules. So, because of the imbalance in the attraction, this tension is no, uh, created at the interface and hence it is known as interfacial tension. Now, this interfacial tension again influences the incorporation of air. If surface tension is higher, the whipping ability will be poor. Also, this interfacial tension influences the stability of the milk fat in the ice cream mix. If interfacial tension is lower, the fat will get dissolved or it, it will get dispersed into the mix and there will be no formation of butter grains or churning of milk fat. Those substances which are present at the interface, they decrease the surface tension. Say for example, in the case of mix, we add emulsifiers, they get adsorbed and the, on the surface because they are surface active substances. Similarly, the milk proteins which are there in MSNF, they also get adsorbed at the interface and they decrease the interfacial tension. Interfacial tension can be increased or decreased by increasing or decreasing the emulsifiers and the MSNF and it is important because it influences the whipping ability and ultimately the overrun in the ice cream or the presence of air how much air is there in the ice cream. Next property is whipping ability. Role of whipping ability, whipping ability is very important and it constitutes three things. One is rate of incorporation of air, faster is the incorporation of air into the mix, we say better is the whipping ability. Size of the air cell, if this size of the air cell is smaller, we say whipping ability is better because if the air cells are smaller, the ice cream will be smoother in texture. Then maximum overrun which can be obtained means the maximum air which can be incorporated into the mix. These three things consist the whipping ability. Now, whipping ability is the most important property of the ice cream mix because it influences the incorporation of air, it in influences maximum overrun, it influences the air cells, they are smaller, 
if vaping ability is better and the texture of ice cream is smoother. Now, as we have seen the surface the pasteurization of mix improves the vaping ability, homogenization of the mix improves the vaping ability and cool aging improves the vaping ability. Also the use of emulsifiers improves the vaping ability. So, we can improve the vaping ability of the ice cream mix by pasteurizing the mix at appropriate temperature, homogenizing the mix at appropriate pressure and cool aging the mix at appropriate temperature and for sufficient period of time or with the use of emulsifier. Then whipping ability is influenced by the stability of milk proteins, then amount of stabilizers, stabilizer have adverse effect on the whipping ability, then stability of milk fat or the churning of milk fat. If churning is more, the whipping ability is poor. Now, this is the churning of milk fat, it has been shown in this slide. In number 1 slide, the fat globules they are present individually, so there is no churning of milk fat. In the second slide, there is a joining of fat globules together and they form butter grains and this is called churning of milk fat. Now, this churning of milk fat influence the incorporation of air because when air is incorporated into the mix due to the effect of dashing, small air cells are formed and when more and more air is incorporated, these cells grow in size air cells. Now, their growth will depend on the whether there is a churning of milk fat or not. If churning is not there, they will grow in size. On the other hand, if there is a churning, they will not grow. Why they will not grow? Because one thing that butter grains will present, the solid particles will have adverse effect. Also, when they are present at the surface of the air cells, they will give instability to the air cells. Hence, less air will be incorporated and whatever air we are incorporating, it will go out and we can say that overrun has reached its maximum volume. Then next, the last property is overrun. What is overrun? When we prepare ice cream, we incorporate air. Suppose we have taken 100 ml mix and we incorporate air and it becomes 200 ml. So, excess 100 ml is overrun means air. It is calculated by the volume of ice cream minus volume of mix upon volume of mix multiplied by 100 is the percent overrun. Now, this is good because it influences the profit. We are giving air just which is free to the consumers in the cost of ice cream. So, we are making more profit if more overrun is there. It improves smoothness because the air cell which are present in the ice cream, they will have pressure on ice crystals. Similarly, on the lactose crystals and they will not grow in size, hence the ice cream will be smoother. Decrease the coarseness, make the product lighter in weight. So, it is from all angle, it is good that higher the overrun, better is the ice cream because more profit will be there, better texture will be there and product will be lighter and this is about what I want to say that physicochemical properties of the ice cream mix, they influence the quality of ice cream and the properties which influence the uh, quality of ice cream, they are density or specific gravity, then the acidity and pH, 
the freezing point, the viscosity, surface tension, interfacial tension, whipping ability and the overrun. So, these are the physicochemical properties which influence the quality of ice cream is these properties are manipulated in such a way that they are normal then the quality of the ice cream will be better. On the other hand, if something goes wrong and any of these property is disturbed, then quality of the ice cream will not be good and there will be defect in the ice cream. Thank you very much.